Hello, everybody. Let's see here. I got lights all over, so it's hard to adjust sometimes. So let's see. Um, I'm about two minutes early. Well, that's how much time usually I uh, need to make sure everything is working. So if you can tell me, if you can hear me correctly. And uh, from that, we're going to go. So I'm going to wait a bit because it's a delay between your comments and the live. It's almost a minute delay. So if you put something, sometimes it's like, what is she talking? It was way back, right? So I'm going to see there if you guys can hear me correctly. And also, when we are live, you're going to see at the top right, well, wait a minute. Let me check as if I would be you. So let me check that out. Because it's a different way. What I see and what you see, it's two different things, right? So let me check on the other device there because I wanted to bring that up. So let's go here. Uh, I can hear you. Awesome. Awesome. That's what I love to hear, that you can hear me. Because sometimes it's the echo and sometimes this and that. Okay. okay, so now I know where it is. When I am live, right at the bottom left, it's a red dot and it's a live. That means you are watching me live. If you are watching the replay, well, then you will not see that. With that being said, when if you watch the replay and it's not live, I'm going to have some um, some games or some uh, way to win a prize. And the prize are all only uh, done during the live. So if you are watching the replay and you answer to all those questions, it won't matter because it's already going to be done. So to you know if you are watching live or if you are watching the replay, Check below on the left side if it's, you get the live with the red dot. Now, looking below, also on the right side, right below, you're going to see the subscribe button. I say that's the best way to stay in contact with me when I upload video or if, when I go live. I started a few months ago about mm, during COVID, whatever, March, April, that, uh, well, then I went two weeks straight. I went 14 days. I did the quarantine for 14 days live every day. Well, now I can't put uh, on lunchtime, I pop live. That it's no uh, certain day. So it's some day, some week it's on Monday, some week it's on Friday, some week it's on Wednesday. It all depends how my week goes, okay? So to uh, get notified when I go live, again, right below, subscribe. And after you subscribe, you want to hit that little bell for the notification. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what I will be doing live this week at my lunchtime. Which day? I don't know. So let me share with you what it's going to be. And I think it is flipping cute. Ta-da! It is screaming my name. This is the kind of purse that absolutely. So it's those in color card base that I use. It is one cut, one score, and then I have to do the little add-on on the side for the purse. That is it. See, it's the same size than the dollar. So you can slide dollars in it. You can slide a note. Uh, you can slide a check. It would be so cute. So this one here, it was in the cinnamon cider. And then I did one with the bumblebee without the handle. And I used those new little um, three pearls there. And see, it's the same thing. You get the side and everything. So I will do that this week at lunchtime. When? Not sure. So I hope you're going to subscribe to my channel right below there. 
Well, welcome everybody. So now it is 10.33, so it's time to start the class. If you are new to this, I got Holly, one of my BFF, that answered most of you over there. So if you leave a comment in that, a lot of time I, I don't even see the comment because when I start stamping, I am in the stamping world. So a lot of the time I don't see your comment. Be reassured that all comments, I will read them, I will review them, and if it's some question, Ollie, she is on the ball with it. I mean, she can answer them, and if it's something that it's asked that <clears throat> she don't know the answer, we get a way to communicate during the live, okay? So she will communicate with me. Also, if you ask for what is this measurement, what is this color, what is this and that, that it's all in the PDF. So she will not answer that because it's in the PDF. With an order of $35, and that $35 that it's after coupon, because if you use coupon of last month, it's after your coupon and before tax and shipping with an order of $35 with this Ostis code, D M, I'm sorry, B, like boy, M, Mary, D, Doc, V, Victor, 4, 4, N, like nurse, R, like roll. So you will get the PDF, the download of all the cards, and that it tells you more step by step. It tells you all um, the measurement, the score, the colors, and everything. And so that is with this Ostis code. If you look at my blog this morning, it was the wrong Ostis code. I don't know what I did, but I correct that. So you can always go at, if you don't know the Ostis code, you can always go at FrenchyStamps.com and you're going to have it right there. Now, every month I get a monthly PDF uh, for customer appreciation. If you want both of them, that would be with an order of $75. Remember, it's the same shipping with an order of $35 or an order of $69.95. Because the minimum shipping is $6.95, and after $69.95, then it go 10%. So if your order is $75, your shipping is going to be $7.50. So keep that in mind. I like to bump my order always above the the... $69, so then I get more from that single shipping, put it that way. Okay, I think I cover all it. I try to uh, read everything there, and it's uh, going fast. Okay, so let me flip you down, and we're going to get... Oh, uh, let me show you the door price. So, again, for uh, to earn the door price, you have to be alive with us and also this is not anything that I set up. The way that YouTube is set up to be able to leave a comment you have to be logged in with your Google account. Many of you are already logged in into your Google account and you don't even know it. So if you leave a comment it go there that means you're in. So we're going to have a prize that is a bone folder engraved with the voila with this notepad, this notepad, it is made by me. It's the full suede um, technique. If you, when you get it, you're going to take, uh, not full suede, but uh, leather. You're going to think it is leather, and it is paper. It is way awesome. And then the next one, uh, if you watch me uh, last I don't remember when it was, during the walkthrough, I think I said I would add more of the washi-washi. I got one more today, so we're going to have two prizes. Okay, so now let me flip you down. So I have to adjust the light and adjust the camera. I'll already flip you without much notice there. So let me adjust one thing here. I think I preset everything that it's going to be okay. It's just when I flip and flip the camera sometime go. Oh, 
Okay, so all the cards that we're doing today, it uh, coordinate with the jar of flower. I mean, coordinate. It it is with the jar of flower, and that is on okay. <clears throat> no, no, here it is. It is on page twelve of the annual catalog. Okay. So if you buy the stamp set and the punch together, the bundle, you're saving 10%. So for $36.75, you get the stamp set and the punch. This is a reversible stamp, so you're going to see that. Also, one of the things that I want to point out, if you get that one, well, you get another one that it's like, oh, might as well get that one also. It is in the holiday catalog and it's let uh, lots to celebrate that it is on page 64 so you get the cover I absolutely thought oh I did my class before this was released and if I would have knew absolutely I would have used the lid I think the lid it's the biggest add-on you get the little, uh, like, you know, when you do uh, those fancy jar canning and you can put a piece of material, you get that. And then you get many occasion. So you get uh, the winter, you get Valentine's, like the 4th of July, fall, flowers. So you get pretty much every season in this. And you get great greetings, sending, lo uh, sending hugs, lots of love, congrats, thinking of you best birthday and season greeting so that it and this year coordinate also with the punch so those two are whoops i'm out of focus here here it goes so those two would be a good add-on together okay now let's get with the stamping i pre-done a lot of the thing and um uh, like I said, all will be in the PDF. So I want to share with you this stamp set before we get started. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't you hate that when you get frog coming in your mouth without, on, in your throat without any warning? <clears throat> so I got my water ready. Okay, so the stamp here, you get the side that you're going to see the lines, so that's the detail. And then you get the, this is fill, it's full, that is to add the color. So that's the reversible stamp. So we got a few like that now. So we, oops, don't lose anything, Frenchie. We're going to do this card here. It's a long skinny easel, see, boom. We're going to do this, but in this here, you're going to see it look like I get water or glass on this. Does it shine? Yeah. I'm going to share with you how this is done. So I'm going to do the full card, okay? Absolutely going to do the full card. So uh, <clears throat> let me grab my paper cutter. So this here, this one here measure, um, what is it? It is a three by, I want to say, mm, three by ten and a half. Then the front, we're going to score this at two and a quarter, I think. Two and a half. We're going to score this at two and a half. And then it's scored back at five and a quarter. Now this is going to get full down. Down. So see how simple it is to make a uh, easel? Okay, you know what? Let me pull you a little bit back because I'm cutting a little bit too much. Let me do, it's bugging me. One minute, it won't be long here. Okay, that should help me quite a bit here. It's not much, but I was cutting off constantly, so that should help me as long as I stay on my white here. Perfect. So now we got another piece here, and we're going to stamp. The first thing we're going to stamp, it's the outline. So that's where it's all the lines, not the full side, the lines. We're going to stamp that with 
um, whoops, basic um, memento. And I did design this class like mm, two months ago, maybe three months ago. So I'm like, oh, I had to refresh my mind here. Okay, let me remove this. And we're going to stamp this right at the bottom here. Voila. Okay, we're going to use a lot of washi washi today, okay? Now, we're going to stamp our stem first. So let me bring the stem. That's all those one here. And then I'm going to you. Let me, uh, we're going to stamp that with mossy metal. One place it is straight, and one place you see it's like up, down, up, down. That's the bottom, because no stem are all equally. So this is the bottom, where it's not straight. The straight go at the top, up, down, up, down, go at the bottom. We're going to stamp this with... Um, mossy and I go right at the top of the lid there because it's going to have to attach with the flower right so a lot of the time those stem don't touch the bottom of our thing they just hang up from the flowers that's what we're doing voila so you can um, use the blend or you can use a marker too I'm going to use the blend and when I say I'm going to use the blend, it's very quick coloring. And I'm just going to go ahead and color this. This is the one that I pretty much want to color in front of you from start to finish. Just because I couldn't do nothing in advance without showing exactly how it was done. Just pay attention to where those, like here, you know it's empty, there it's empty. So you follow those stem. You have to leave some uh, blank in the middle because it's not just a chunk of uh, plywood we <laughs> get there. It's, so just follow your stem. You know what, maybe the fine tip is going to work better. And I'm not uh, shading anything on this. I am just really adding the color into the stem. So this is a double wide here. This one. You could add, you know, spend more time if you want. You could do the shading and so on. But here we go. So now I got this stem. So I want to bring this closer here and see here it's empty, empty because it's no stem there. So just follow your stem. Now we're going to reverse this. So you're going to take the same one and I'm going to flip this here. I use for most of my water, I'm going to be using the seaside spray. That seemed to be the one that I like for. Um, the water. I could have used the little one here to do my water, but I want a little bit more water in my jug. So I'm just going to go about here. I'm not going to the top because the water, it's not, it's, I don't want it to flow on my table. So I'm just doing this part here. So it depends how much water you want in your jug. So you can go to the top, quarter, and so on. Now we're going to take this and match that at the top and boom and I get my water another thing that you can do with your water you see it's kind of you can use your aqua painter this is not a must but you can do this and just blend your water if you want I will not do that because we're going to put the liquid uh, the crystal effect at the top so now that we get this done and we got four different set of flower, okay? We're going to use this one here. So I call that the, the fresh uh, flower. It looked like one of those wildflower, you pick the fresh flower. That's what I call this one. I name everything. It's just like a grandma naming their 
grandkids with all the nicknames, right? Now, let me grab my memento ink. And we're going to stamp that. See, now you're going to go right at the edge here of your jar. Voila! How simple that was, right? Okay, and, oh, I thought I lost my washi washi. Here we go. Now, for uh, I use all different color in this, but I won't color everything. I'm going to color the bottom because <clears throat> I cannot really come back at the bottom with the ribbon. So I just see, I just do the outline. And this is Rococo here, I think. Yeah, uh, Rococo. And in the PDF, like I said, all the colors are there. So I just use the dark one and do the outline. Here we go. And then I'm going to take the light one and just... I didn't really do much of the blending on this. Oh, this marker need. I need a new one. I must have used so much of the Rococo. It's almost dry. They last a long time, but if you use them like I do, yeah. yeah. Let's see a little bit here. Here we go. Okay, note to myself, order a new Rococo. Okay, and then we're going to do the bottom one. That one, it's in Island Ether, and I'm going to do the center in my yellow. I like to do all my center of the flower, usually when, where you get the pot in the yellow. Now I'm going to use uh, the dark one. It's this one. I do the outline all in the dark. And I always say, you know, do bite size. Well, these little flower, you pretty much can do the whole outline and then come back with your light because they're tiny. They're about what I call a bite size, okay? So then I would go ahead. And I don't like when it's a dark line like that, so what I would do is really blend this a bit with my fine tip there. So now you get the jig of it. And then, uh, like the leaves and so on, I mix some of the green. So what I done, they're so tiny that I just went ahead and color the leaf. And those little ones, even if it's just black there, I went and put green on top of it. See those little ones? I just add the green at the top of it. So that adds a little bit more color to it. Then uh, the berries, I used the dark Rococo and I did all those little berries here. And also uh, the stem, I should, that's another good pointer here. I did the stem in the green, see? Boom. So that's how it's color, and then you're going to finish with this here, see? Okay, let's finish assemble that, and I'm going to share with you how I done the, uh, let me think, the water there. I'm going to finish coloring this one after uh, live. It's no use to take all the time for the color, right? I emboss uh, the flirty flamingo with a tile. Um, it's another name, I think, with the tile. Now, this is going to go, so it's just card front here, okay? We're going to put that. It's just a tiny border. So the base, it's five and a half by four and a quarter, 
in the top it's four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Again, all measurements are on the thing. Now this is our card. Oh, it was I had already scored there. <laughs> That's okay. We're still gonna make it work. Let me uh, see. I had pre-scored that, and I thought I didn't. So I just gonna remove the score. Here we go. Now we're gonna add glue to this, and when I glue on top of my uh, something that it's embossed like that. I like to use my seal plus because it's more strong. That's just preference on my part. Now we're going to put that right in the middle. That look about right. Press that here. Now this part here, it's very important that you don't put adhesive all the way in the back, just at the bottom, because we want this to flip up. So what I'm going to do is put some right at the edge there, and then I'm going to turn this back here, and I'm going to put about three st strips, because I know it's about it won't go past that. Now you're going to put this in the middle, Now I got all those little circle here, and it doesn't matter which one you're going to pop up. One of them going to have to be popped up. So the black one, I'm going to put it straight down. Here we go. What did I do here? Here we go. Come on, machine. Here we go. My goodness. Here. Now I got my glue. And before you decide where you're going to put it, see about how you want that to pop up. So I'm going to put it about this way. So I'm going to put that right there. Now these two, I'm going to glue the yellow on top of the flirty flamingo. And that will be put up with a glue, a, a dimensional. And the reason why the dimensional, I need something raised up to stop it. So this, I'm going to go in the center of this, and boom. It's got, so that, it's your stopper. Okay, now that we got that easel done, I had to wait to the last minute, so that's why I did this one first, because we're going to be able to put our ribbon after, okay? You're going to use the shimmer crystal effect. This, or you can use also the fine tip glue. You can use one or the other, okay? So we're going to use this. This is very important that when you apply it, you try to squeeze and then apply it as you go so then you don't have those uh, big bubble of air and you're going to see in a bit. So the water finished there so I know that I want to finish there. You don't, I'm doing more reflection on the water or you can do the whole jar that really it would be like the glass jar. This is more like the glass maybe. So now I keep on squeezing as I go. You guys cannot see, but my hands just keep on squeezing, squeezing, because I don't want no hair bubble. You know what? Air bubble would be okay for water, though. It would make it even more realistic. So now I'm going to... And this is going to take a little bit uh, to dry, and that's why I did it first. Here we go. You know what? I'm doing the old jar because this is more the glass. So I'm going to do the, the jar like the whole glass. Look better. You know what? I can use a new one of this, I think. Here we go. 
And uh, if you see some discoloration of the, the ink that is normal, it's nothing we can do about that. So that's why you want to let it dry maybe a little bit, but it's going to all work, trust me. Okay, now tap, tap, tap. So you don't want nothing left there. And I need to wipe the tip. The <clears throat> I think I got, yeah, I do, I do. Okay, just wipe your tip and really bang that on the table so it's straight, so it's nothing in the barrel, barrel so next time you use it, you're ready. So now let me let this dry flat while we work on the other one, and we will finish it at the end with, see, I, we just have to add the bow. Yeah, the coloring I will finish later, at least you can see, but at least you saw how this was done. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, I need, I need to pick up a little bit here. Okay, now, this is a step card. It's uh, very uh, simple, I say. Um, I thought I... Oh, that's the same thing. So, let's do our stamping first. So we will do uh, this one. I didn't put the crystal on top, anything. It's just um, stamp right at the bottom. Then we're going to washi washi. And we're going to flip this. And we're going to use again seaside spray. Oh, I don't want that much, so let me uh, fix that here. Here we go. Now we're going to put that right here. See, I got my water. And like mentioned, you can use your aqua painter. I don't know where I wrote mine here. Oh, not this one. So just make sure you get water on your brush and then smooth that out. Now we're going to stamp the stem and the flowers again. I have to wait for the bottom to dry. So now these one are the spring flower and the reason why I say the spring flower it's because they get the tulip and so on. And so I call this one the spring jar. So again, this is done with your memento ink because we are using blend. I'm going to put that right here and you're going to say why you didn't do the stem first. It's just because I um, did the, let me think here, this was still wet. Now the stem on this one are stamped with uh, black. So instead of the green, I stamp the stem with the black so we see them more through the jar. So I'm just going to come right above here and stamp that there. Boom. See? Almost aligned perfectly there. So with that, we're going to put the ribbon there. So even if it don't just touch. And that, again, I use uh, the blends. And you're going to go ahead and color I would have left the bottom dry a little bit more, but you're going to get uh, the jig of how it's done. Now for coloring the flowers, it is the same thing. I use the blends. Did very little bit blending, really just use it to add colors and call it good. Uh, to be honest, the bottom should have been dry a little bit more. Here we go. And then while I get the green, I would have done all my green here. See? And then you're going to attach it together. See? If it didn't touch, when I use my blend, I attach them together. So then it don't look like they're choking, whatever 
partial cut up. And then I just keep on adding everywhere where I had the grain. That was the easiest way for me to whip those scar together to color that quick. And then it's Florida Flamingo yellow that I did. I did a few uh, different color in the tulips. This one, it's melon. Where is my flirty? This is too common. Oh, here it is. It's right back here. Okay. So, again, I would have done uh, the dark first, just like the other one, okay? and um, then come with the light one and I barely you know did some of the oh, what it's called um, blending very very little very little and then come with the light one I just want to do the bottom so then I can uh, finish that even with the bow there and then the little flowers I did in the yellow here. But you can see how quick, they are very quick to do. See, just add here and there. And then this, I used that like lavender. So those one I did in lavender. All these one here, I just add a little bit of the island ether. So really it looked like those little uh, lavender uh, thing. I barely touched the paper. I don't know how much you can see of my coloring. And then mm, I like uh, the light mango. I, for my tulip here, I like the light mango. Maybe I use the dark. You know what? I think it is the dark. Yeah, when people ask me what color did you use to color thing, I'm going to be honest with you. I got such a tough time because I go back and forth in my color just like this. And I just keep on, oh, maybe a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So for me, it's hard to tell, oh, I use this or that, absolutely. And then I'm going to come with the dark daffodil and then blend this. And then I would come with the light to do some shading. And let me, uh, shading, I don't know if that's a, a word from what I do. Just put like where the light come in, in the center, put that lighter. See, now that is lighter. That is it. On See, it's almost already done. Add a little bit more here. And it's a quick card. Uh, well, depends on how much fussy that you're doing on your coloring, okay? But now you see this and this. So we're going to finish this card. So now let me bring my stamp. Uh, not stamp status, but my um, simply score. I find it this the easiest. Tell us about the sticker on the end of your. Oh, okay. So I this year say light flirty flamingo. And it's just a little sticker that I put. I did some that I did like this. Like Bermuda Bay, BBL, mean light. And I do it at both ends. And I tried on sticker and that was too tedious for me. I was losing patience with it to do the sticker. So I think if you take a Sharpie and like here, this, because all our color get too late, like SS shade of spruce light, SS shade of spruce. Well, so saffron, it is SS, but you know, so, sa uh, yeah, so saffron, 
you know the yellow would be so saffron. So the first two letters and then L or B for the dark. So then when you come to put them away, it's easy to see and it's easy to uh, uh, easy to see and uh, then it's because let me uh, take two that are similar. Mm, which two that I get confused all the time? Some of them are so close, so that way that it's easy. Oh, that answer. Okay, so this here. So this measure four and a quarter by uh, eleven. We're gonna put the eleven at the top. You're gonna. Oh, let me remove this. Let, uh, we're going to score this at one inch. Oh, no, first let me do it this way. Uh, now I'm losing my mind. One minute. This and this. Yes. Okay, so you're going to put this at 11. You're going to score very gentle at one inch, okay? Very gentle. And then you're going to score at two inch, again, just two, about one inch there. And then you can flip it and two at one inch. Put it that way. Now six and a half, about one inch, flip it, six and a half, about one inch. And you know what? Forget all that. I know I remember how I did that. So we want to go with this, um, the board first. Sorry, sorry. Forget what everything that I say. Just pretend we're starting fresh. Take your uh, your paper, your cardstock, and this is heavy whisper white or thick whisper white, four and a quarter by eleven. Take this, put this at one inch, right, oops, one inch right here on the long way, and then you're gonna, I want it this end up. It doesn't matter for you which end, it's just I had already screwed up. You're going to bring your cutting at one inch. So you see one inch there with this. That is the line right there to your one. You're going to cut that to six and a half. And then you're going to bring this, and then you're going to go see six and a half. Lift this up, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other end. So, to make it simple, just flip it upside down and go at one inch again. Then, this is at 630, roll it to one inch. So, really, what you've done, you cut from one inch, you started at one, all the way to six and a half. You started at one, one all the way to six and a half. So, you want two opening like this. Got it? Okay, now to the scoreboard. I was like, wait a minute. Like I said, I did this months ago, and then you forget sometime how this is not a new fold, trust me. Okay, now you're going to put the one at the one inch right here. So where it started at one. Oh, what happened? To, here it is. You're going to score to your, um, your where you cut. So one inch to your cut, score that. And at the bottom, you're gonna score again from your uh, cut to the bottom. If you get a tough time to see that, you can always flip it, okay? We're gonna flip back and forth, make it a lot easier. Now we're gonna go at the two inch. S score to your cut. Flip it, score to your cut. Now we're going to go at the six and a half to your uh, cut, six and a half to your cut. Now we have to go at the five and a half. Well, you don't want to score 
the the first part you just want to squirt your center the best thing for that is take a ruler put it at your five and a half flush that you know it's flush over there and then you're going to come right here and then you're going to know exactly where it is because you don't want no score at the five and a half here or there so now let me repeat that quick you're going to put 11 at the top, you're going to score at 1 inch to your uh, cut, 2 inch to your cut, and then 6 and a half to your cut in the center at 5 and a half. You're going to repeat the 1, 2, and 5 and a half on each side, okay? Now we're going to take this. And then we're going to do some magic here. You're going to take the center, this is the center where you score in the center here, squeeze, see, squeeze this, take your bone folder, reinforce this, now you're going to take your two inch, bring it down, you're going to take your two inch core, bring it down, reinforce. and reinforce, reinforce, and you get your step card. How simple this was. Now let's take this, push it in, and push it in, and voila, let's reinforce good. And this gonna, but make sure this is pushed good here. Um, this gonna fit on in a regular card. All our cards that we're doing today, it's a regular size card for our envelopes. No need of special envelope, no need of nothing special. See, when it's done, it's the perfect size. Now, oops, I was assembling my envelope. Don't need that. Now, we're going to take a this, that, let's see, this is finished coloring. And if I can find, here is my seal. Oh. See, when that happened, you just roll back and then, oops, you start it over. That's what I love about the seal. I, I'm a big fan of the seal, and yes, it is a learning curve to it, but I love it. Here we go. Now, we got the strip, and this uh, designer series paper, it's in good takes. So, we're going to put our adhesive, and that should be really tumble liquid glue the only reason because those strips are so just right i mean i don't have much room to wiggle so we're going to take one let's open this you want to open it up hmm you know what i see i did something wrong okay let's you guys going to see it all over again. One second. I'm going to go uh, do it in a fast motion here. I went at one inch and it is three quarter. Uh, my first one I did one and this is three quarter. Three quarter inch. So let me... Um, we're going to cut that at five and a quarter. And then I'm going to go at three quarter. And I'm going to go start at one inch. Don't you love it when I make mistakes? The, the other one's going to be good. It's just that it's different size from my paper. So, so one inch, six and a half. Lift this up, flip it, go at three quarter and to one inch. And let's bring back the scoreboard. Here we go. And then we're going to go at one inch to three quarter, two inch to three, oops, three quarter here, and then six and a half, and then my five and a half.
and then flip this six and a half two and one here we go okay let's do this again See, now you see it in fast motion. You saw it in slow motion, now you see it in fast motion. After you do that, flip this inside and reinforce again. Okay, now we can glue. See, it's stand up. Perfect. Okay, this glue should be dry a little bit. We're going to add more glue. So you want to open this up. Like I said, my measurements are very right to the T there. Put that there. It looks like stone, doesn't it? Or like whatever the wall. I love this paper for that texture. Or yes, yes, yes. Here. And then we got the bottom. Here. Oh, I guess I did my bottom wider. Don't tell me I measure wrong. No, no, it's just this I cut too, uh, too long. We're going to use scissors if that's the case. Just trim to the back. Here we go. Okay, now when you take your... Uh, paper it go almost to the bottom see and I needed to do that long to get the space for the flowers so that is why I did the skinny one and for the space to the spring flowers that I call and this one to get glue all the way there so it's no special way to glue it you just glue all the way okay and then we're going to put that right here. Snap. And then I'm using uh, what this call uh, this uh, ribbon here. It is the crinkle seam binding. I'm just going to do a little bow. And that, I glue that with a glue dot. That's the best way I think that I can um, find a way to glue this. So you just shape it a little bit here. This one is too long. You don't want too much of a big bow for this. That should be about right. Just, this is very, um, it's crinkle. It's got the name crinkle, right? Here we go. Now let me bring a glue dot. And we're gonna take this. Put this in the back. Put this right here. See? Now you don't even see if they didn't really touch those flowers. How simple that was. Then inside, I stamped my flowers right at the top there in the flirty flamingo. So, um, and the yellow, it comes from the stamp set um, Good Morning Magnolia. So I can stamp that quick if I find my washi washi. Here we go. And flirty. And then I didn't bring the, the hello stamp set there so you will just put your greeting but I thought when you open it up I like to see those flowers there and decorate a bit the inside. So that's how it was done. And also when you pop this up, boom. And see this? So these one there that first we fold it's down, you just flip this in the back. This and this. And voila. Reinforce good so it's going to stand up straight and tall. Ta-da! You got it. Okay. Now let's move along with this one. Okay, this one here, 
I had to go and get Wilbur a seed. Uh, well, we feed birds, so I went outside. The reason why I didn't uh, use Union Sunflower Seed, it's because it's got kind of a white powder on it. So, what you're going to do, this is very important here, what I'm about to share. When you're going to emboss, you want to emboss, you can use two of the same sheet. The instructions say that you want to emboss both sheets together. And so that way it's going to match perfectly the same. See, they match. It's the same print here, then it is there. So uh, it's going to be very realistic that you see through the jar the same thing in the back. Because if I leave it plain, it's like, huh, it got a hole in the wall or whatever. That's just my thing. So we're going to use the punch. And with the punch, take your, uh, this is the front here, okay? So that's four by five and a quarter. And you see, I just embossed partial. Let me show you how I did that. So this is the tin of tongue, and what I done, I kept about one inch at the bottom. So I put this here, and I kept an inch at the bottom, and roll it through the machine. That's simple, but I embossed both sheets at the same time, okay? So then it was exactly the same. So what we're going to do is take our Sarah Sam. We're going to tap, tap, tap. Give some character in our cow. Boom. And you want to do the same thing on this one. Boom. So now we get that done. We're going to take our strip. Again, this is in good taste. I use a lot of uh, this paper. Absolutely use a lot of this paper, okay? In good taste, we're going to put that right at the bottom. If you, oh, not this one, not this one. Let me remove that. Okay, the big piece here go on this one. Oh, that was lucky. Put that right at the bottom here. Here we go. Now the other one going to be right here. You can do the full strip or just a little one, and you're going to see why. You're going to take your uh, punch. You're going to put this right here, push it all the way, center this the best that you can, and punch. You can use this for another thing, okay? Now we got our opening. Now, when you match this here in the back, you're going to come in the back, and you're going to be able to match your... Uh, especially if it's you use the same size, but here I just feel it. And then boom, it's done. See, now my flower follow, this follow, everything follow. Oh, I need to push a bit more there. Here we go. Now we're going to attach our jar. So the jar, here they are. I couldn't find it. You get two stickers. You get the one in the front. So we're going to do the front one first. Come here, baby. You can use your poker tool too, but that would be too simple. Okay. Let's do. Okay, just remove this. And this here, gonna you're gonna bring this to the front, right? So go from the back. Here we go. Now you get this. Now. I like to put my seed or whatever you want in. So I'm going to put my seed. I feel we're cheating them. It's the little bark in there. Poor birds. So you're going to put your seed. You don't want to put too much that you covered the whole thing. So that's about right. Now we're going to remove this. 
So then if you want to put, like you see the one like with the water in, you can put hand sanitizer in that. Then you would put your hand sanitizer in for the water, like I did the globe for Christmas. And then you put a clear sheet. Now we don't put a clear sheet. Now I'm just going to go from here and match this up. That looked pretty right. Let me turn around. Okay, that looked, oops, nope, not quite. You know what? This is going to be easier. Let's remove this. I'm going to have to use another piece, maybe. And that's the way I done with the other one. So one second. Uh, in good, in good, in good taste. What we're going to do, and that's what I done with the one that I did. It's just, I thought it's going to work, but it didn't. So one second. Let me find a piece of wood that matched that. Okay, that's going to go. So what we're going to do, here we go. Put that right here in the back. And that's the way the, all we call me, she correct my PDF and I said, yeah, that's the way I done it. See, cover this. And usually it's just this strip, but now I can cut this here in the back just because I screwed up. Hey, I screwed up a lot today. I should have a trophy for that. Should I? I think so. Okay. So now that we get that here, so you see your it follow all the same, right? So when you look, it still looks the table in the back and so on. Let's take our seed. Let's slide our seed in. Boom, boom. The seeds are in. Now you're going to match this here. Et voila, see, it match perfect, the flower, see that? So, so you don't put your wood on your piece of paper, that get too tricky. You put your wood in the back and see my flower follow everything. Now we got, now after this is rubbed good, you can take your Tombow glue, put Tombow there so it don't move and also at the bottom. It's going on the inner layer anyway, but just to make sure it stays secure good. All this going to get glue on the top of your early espresso. So uh, usually I would put the glue in the back of this but because of this I just want to put I just want to keep the surrounding no glue. So I'm going to put that here. Oh I think I'm empty. No I still have some. Yes. Now we're going to put that right here. And by the way, here, I got this in the mail. And she put two regular stamps and boom. See, it's not even damaged. My best advice is check with your post office. Though. Don't just send it and say she said it was okay. I would put two, or she used two regular first class. I would just make sure to use at least one of the non-machinable uh, stamp set on it and maybe two of them. And I was beyond shocked that it came in, this is Linda that sent me that, I just want to cover her uh, uh, address. Uh, see, it didn't even flat up. So that was amazing, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so now we got that done. Let's go ahead and put our flowers. I get another one. This is a color with mango, mossy, and a daffodil. 
Now this here, what I done, I curl a little bit here and there, just to add some depth to it with my bone folder. Now this is with blend. It's normal. It's in the back. So we're going to use blue dots, uh, not blue dots, I'm sorry, dimensional. And this is going to come right here. So I won't put some right at the bottom. I'm going to put like three here. Now we're going to do a bow. And it's a triple bow. See, now it looks like it's coming on top. And the triple bow, I use linen thread. So, very simple, if you are in challenge with bow, this would do the trick. So we're going to do one, two, three. So I get three there, three here. Started there, we're going to finish there, like this. You can use something to hold it together, or you can use it with your finger. And then I'm going to put it just here. Then I'm going to tie this together. Sometimes some people use tweezer to hold it together, whatever, whatever floats your boat. I just put it down, squeeze, do another knot. And we're going to bring all those tail down, okay? Oh, go the other way. And then you can adjust your um, your loop. Here we go. And this linen thread looked different. It must have been a different roll something. Here we go. Now we got our loop. This one seen. Not that one. This one, if you pull on, oh, okay, now I see it's this one. Here we go. Now, we're going to take all those tail. I call this the tail. Okay, take all your tail. Squeeze this together like this. This one seems off a bit. Here we go. And use a glue dot. And, oops. And then your glue dot, what you want to do with your glue dot, it's just squeeze it in the back of the knot. Now, so you see, we didn't really do a bow on this. We just did loop de doop. And now I can take my tails and trim them. Voila! The other one was a bit smaller, so you can do smaller, bigger, whatever that floats your boat, okay? Boom. So now, you see, when you, the jar, it all followed the same, so it's not plain in the back or so on, so it's all the same. Then in the inside, I use the same flour, stamp it with um, crushed curry and or bamboo bee. It should sit all in the thing. Um, I use a lot of crushed curry, a lot. Talking about door prize, guess a number between one through nine, and the f um, the one that guess the number, the third one that gets the number, will win the washi washi washi. Okay, that's what you're gonna win. So it's the third one, not the four. Um, not the first one and also I ask pretty pretty please if you are a demonstrator please don't guess so um, we should give the chance to my follower and my customer the chance to win you already get a discount so let's give the freebie to the one that don't get the discount thank you here we go how pretty that is is that cool Here we go. Now, we're almost done. We got this one here that looks complicated, but it's very simple. What I like about this, it's when I flip this, see, boom. It's 
a flip. I think we get a winner. So Ollie gonna tell me if we get a winner. So this one here, this still fit in a regular envelope. See the width? I kept the width. It's less long, but it still fit in a regular envelope. So what we're gonna do is take our pool party and we're gonna sponge. And when I mean we're gonna sponge, so you get the skinny, skinny one gonna go on the top. And then this one. Okay, this and this is at the top. So those two pieces, and then this is gonna go inside. So we're gonna keep this inside. We're going to do those two pieces here, okay? So you're going to take your pool party. I'm not sure about the jerking. I'm really not sure why it does that. So I want to come here and go right in the center. Hmm. That, that, that sponge, it seemed better days. I can get some rain on it. I'm going to flip this around. Okay, let's go back here. Here we go, much better. I was like, where the green came from? So I just want to sponge in the center. Here we go. I don't know why uh, the jerking uh, Lewis, I don't know if it's a connection error or uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Michelle. Michelle said it's good. Uh, most of the time that it's the connection, because uh, I feed it up. You guys need to feed it down. So it's a lot of broadband there involved. So when it's live, it's very different from when you watch just a video. So if you watch video when it's live and it's very jerky, I say, um, Keep on watching if that don't bug you. If that bug you, then wait till it's over. Then you can watch the replay and it shouldn't have no jerking. Here we go. You see, I just go randomly. It's no right and wrong. I just go randomly, okay? Here we go. Now, I could go a bit darker maybe. I don't want all the same color because then I would use pool party. I just want to use like the sky discoloration a bit. Here we go. And I think this is enough here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take our punch. We're going to put that straight down, all the way down, okay? Try to look on each direction, look about the same, punch this out. Now, again, we need to match the color to go in the back. So, see what's the matter? It's not enough at the bottom there. So, I'm going to take this and go at the bottom here. And we got a winner. Her name is Karen Harness. And I'm going to tell you where those number came from. Karen, please. Uh, message me, email me your, uh, go at frenchystem.com and go contact me and send me your mailing address. Now we got this, oh, did I punch the wrong one? I sure did. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to fix that. You have to punch the small one. So I'm just going to go and trim that one quarter inch here. And we're going to trim that each side. Oh my, can I make more mistakes today? But you know what? It's all good, my friends. 
It's just paper. We're going to make it work. There we go. So you cut from the smallest one, and I flip my paper. See, I just want a little, got it. Now, we're going to take the jar. So that cutting that I did, if you follow the direction, you won't have no problem. We're going to take the jar here, and we're going to put that right here. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So put that in. Just gonna slide this. See your slide, you get those little curve there. Here we go. Now, let me tell you what I've done and what I'm gonna do. So I got those uh, oh, what they call E. It's called but now I find something better after I was done. Okay, what I use they are called number one epoxy droplets. So I use the epoxy droplets, but after I was done, I realized that we got that I didn't know about or didn't pay attention, we got the flower for every season gem. That was even better. So we're going to use both of them today. So what i done, I use, and really I need to have another one. So really this would be here. Uh, can I screw up even more? I think so. I think so. Okay, let me see about. Okay, let's go about there. So I use three or four of this. Okay, I cannot prep a class that much in advance anymore because, whoo, baby. Okay, so I would have bring my a template on top, you know. Oh, well, maybe I still can. No, so I would have put this on top without my jar, so then I wouldn't know where to glue. Right now, I'm guessing. So that's what you would do. Without your jar, you would put that here, so you know where it goes, okay? Now I'm going to go one, two, and then three. And the other one, because I didn't have the one, I just removed the sticky in the back. But now I find, I thought I brought it here. They are here someplace. There they are. We got those one here that, see, I don't have to take anything out. I won't put the green because I don't think the green going to go. But I'm going to put the clear in. So you don't have to remove the sticky of the other one. I'm just going to leave that there. We're going to use uh, the little butterfly here, and uh, some of them, all of them really, I punch them out and use the wink of Stella and add the wink of Stella. Boom, boom. That's what I did. Now, let's do two of them. That's going to be done with glue dots. And note that what you would do, you would put that here and put them all before you put your jar, okay? So learn from my mistake. Don't do what I do, do what I say. And then here's the other one. But I'm pretty much, uh, I'm okay covering my mistake, right? And then right here. Okay, so now this go this way. Now we're gonna take this here and put it on top of this. Now notice that we're going to have a little bit more of the bigger border of the other one because we did, uh, you know, I had to trim. I had done the wrong one. Now we're going to take the little purple one here. Oh, I don't have no wink of still on that one. Well, we're going to fix that baby. Grab just one. Okay, we can have another one. So 
So let me pop another one of the <clears throat> Blackberry Bliss, right? Yeah. Blackberry Bliss. Here we go. And this is the duet punch. So you get both of the punch. And here we go. So I like to glue my uh, butterfly. Then we're going to do those flight pattern, okay? So one's going to come here. One's going to come here. And over here. Okay, let's do our flight pattern. And then I just do a little line, see? Okay, this is the point five. This is the point one. So it's one in there. So, oops, this one, I didn't have no glue dots on it, so me. It didn't get on. Here we go. And then I just want to go and finish filling this here. It's no butterfly, but some one came through. Put it that way. See how much that adds? Those little lines add more than you can imagine. See? Boom. Now we're going to use this ribbon. It's beautiful. That is a um, pool party. A pool party or seaside? Yeah, pool party. It's very... Um, what is it? I don't know the name of it. But it's it's nice. Here we go. Uh, would that be a beginner's ribbon? Like I start naming them. It's a little bit more uh, stiff, but it's very soft for... It's kind of a mesh uh, ribbon. Does it say? No. So we just want a tiny little bow, okay? Tiny. Tight. Then you keep on adjusting and tight. Now let me cut this. Now we're going to add, let's add the bow after. Let's add this to our card. So this is going to go on our pool party here. Maybe this I want to, um, maybe I can do it here. Okay, put that right here. That's what I told you, we're going to have a little bit bigger around the blue because you know I had to do some trimming. This didn't glue there. Here we go. Okay, so now this one here, see we have to do that diagonal. So you're going to take your corner where you score in the center, there, you're going to put that in your opening and this in your opening and then you're going to score, not the cutting blade, score. And then this is going to get flipped, see? You can have one way or the other, it doesn't matter. But you have to know which way before you put this. And again, this can only be diagonal your uh, adhesive. So the best thing to do, I'm going to come right here. It's something that I did on my... Let me fix this here. When that happens, sometimes you get a chunk of glue there. Take this off and remove that chunky chunk there. Here we go. Okay. Oops. And I'm going to go right here. So now, and maybe a little bit here. I'm going to make sure I don't go past. Now you're going to take this, your point, your point. That's what you want to pay attention, your point and your point, okay? Never mind, go with the point and point and pay attention to the top, 
you get all about the same all around. I went a bit too much there, that's okay. I'm gonna rub it, take it in the back, and voila. So now this one go this way. So this one here, the way that I flip it go this way. See, I put one on one side, I didn't pay attention, but it's all, so then this one face you this way, and this one face you this way. See? So, you know what? Those two jars should be side by side. So what you're going to do for the inside, it's put your white piece. Because that, you, I would have to flip it the other way before I uh, glue it. We're going to put that right here. We're going to take the big butterfly with the little butterfly. I want some, I got some still on that. And we're going to put that right here. Like so. And this we're going to use a tiny dimensional. I'm squeezing two together there. Remove this. You're going to flip this, and then you're going to decide where your butterfly should go. You don't want to pass it there. Here we go. So now when you flip it, you can, you get something to attach it there. It won't go down. And then you're going to take your Here we go. So now you get your easel to go this way. So don't sweat the small stuff when you get it uh, that way. Take your ribbon and go ahead and I'm going to attach this right here. So my ribbon is going to need to go on this side. So when I flip it, it's the at the bottom. And it's kind of big. I can squeeze that a little bit more. Mm. Here we go. And I'm going to cut a bit of this. Here we go, my friends. So, very, um, your easel. So you get one way, one the other way. Perfect view. One more, last but not least. And uh, this is, oh no, two more. Two more, but it's going to be quick. It will be quick. Uh, this year, the flowers, like I said, uh, the way that I um, color them, I went with the soft suede. In the center, I use my soft suede. So the soft suede in the center of the sunflower. Use my mango melody, went back in the center and just did the bottom of the sunflower here. Just here. That's it. And then I use my dark daffodil and then add my dark daffodil. You can add a little bit of the light if you want also. But see, boom, that was done. You can light up with. So that's how I done it. And then the green is just barely touched. I got one too many stuff here. The green here, what I done is just use your um, and you barely touch because it's so small. Just go and do your leaves. That's it. The center, it's in the yellow. Now, no, we do not have um, a die for this. So what i done, remember, you just fold your scissors open and close and then you you move with the left hand side here 
Here we go. So that's the same thing with the other one. Now, this one, I call it the faux shelf because it's really a full illusion to it. Uh, I think it's way cool. The way that it looked like you get the shelf, you know, standing up on the wall or whatever. You know, those freestanding shelf. Um, I got a few in the house. I should have taken a picture to put with the car. There we go. So now we get that. So the plant, the the whatever it called the <clears throat> the jar I punch it in whisper white and the reason why I done that it's because designer syrup paper it's more flimsy okay so I want it stronger but to remove the white did you see what I done I use early espresso use the side of my marker and this is what I done you could uh, use a uh, early espresso uh, paper also. Mine was done and I was like, why I didn't use early espresso? That I used from one of the other one that was cut. So, now you have it. We're gonna use, and also your designer Siri paper, it's kind of white in between. So that's what I done with my designer Siri paper. See right there, that is where I finished, just kept a piece to show you. Can you see this? It's white. I just went, boom, done. So it's all done. So that way, you don't have that white piece there. I'm going to glue those two together. We're going to take our linen thread. We're going to do uh, two loops. So let me go just in the back here. And we're going to go right here. You're going to see the groove in this one. See, you get those grooves right in there. Two. And I think maybe it's another groove here. Here we go. So I'm going to do three on this one. Tie this in the back because we put the glue there. Like this. Oops. Put that back there. So can you see the groove on each side there? So that's what I follow my ribbon. Now you're gonna take this. I did a double bow, but this one, the double bow, what I did is just full, full. Oh, that's too much. We're gonna fold this in two. So you can do it the loopy doop like I show you, or you can do it this way, whatever float your boat. Look, my boat. Here we go. Now we're going to take this, cut this, ready to put up. We're going to put the flower first. Let me share with you this. And again, I use, this is from the Good Taste. I'm putting this Whisper White or Vanilla, it doesn't matter. And the reason why I am doing this here, it's because that I want something stronger, okay? Now we're going to take, and I want to see it's, let me measure once. Okay, I think it's half, a quarter inch, or half inch? Half inch. So you're going to take this and you're going to put this at your, uh, put that on your mark at a quarter inch. You can mark it though. You know what? We're going to mark it half inch. Okay, let's mark that at half inch. It's more than one way to do those uh, table or that. I'm going to Mm, that cool. I'm going a quarter inch. Let me try a quarter inch and then I will decide. Okay, you can go a quarter inch, half inch, whatever you prefer. I'm going with a quarter inch, so then you're going to mark this. Add one quarter inch. Now oh, that was F. Here 
here. That's a quarter. So the bottom it's at one quarter. As long as you mark both sides the same, then you're going to take this, the point right there, and your mark right there. Close this and cut. Voila! So now I get mm, this one look a little bit more indent. Here we go. So you're going to cut the same mark, and the smallest the mark are, you have to be more precise. Now, you're going to sponge. I use a sponge dauber for that. You know what? Let's grab the sponge dauber here, and we're going to sponge this and assemble. That's simple. Let me throw the espresso one over there. And also, did you see those little, um, like, nail or screw? We're going to put that, too. Let me sponge this quick here. Just to give some depth to your... Um, that really adds quite a bit. It adds some depth. Okay. Now, I'm using pellet tots. You see those two little things? But... They're not exactly where I want them. So if I take this and would go here, see it don't go. So what I do, it's one, and then one, one, and then one. So you see I just stamp one at a time. So now it looks like I got those screw there, right? We're going to use the linen, and not the linen, but the lace thread that I thought that I had it here. It is. Now, let's use, I'm going to use um, on the long way. You want on the long way. And then we're going to put that at the bottom. Try to match that right on. So just the line there. Tap, tap, tap. Turn this around. And then we're going to cut. And then we're going to cut this. See? Now you get that little lacy thing. Okay, now... Did I use a long strip? Yes. We're going to use the foam strip for this one. Well, first let's bring this here. So uh, this is the same size than the card from. So let me uh, get some tumble glue here. So when you get the same, oh, wrong way. <laughs> that. That is funny. That's what happened when you talk. Look at the comment. That's okay. We're going to fix that. Don't sweat the small stuff. Okay, let me grab another piece. I have to laugh here. Oh my goodness. Where are you? Okay, I think I'm banded from looking at the comments, right? Okay, maybe I don't have no... You know what? That's still going to work. Watch this. I don't have no more of this. I'm just going to wipe this. And then I'm going to use my eraser after. Don't. When it's a whale, away it's a whale. Here we go. So you want to put it in the back of this. I could add this frame, but it would have been too much 
wood on wood on wood on wood between the shelf and I wanted my, uh, my wall to be in stone. I'm going to put that right there. It's sticky a bit, but I'm the one that know that. You guys cannot even see that. Uh, I'm going to take my eraser when, uh, and then remove where it's sticky. You guys, if you guys didn't laugh with all my oops today, well, I don't know what to tell you. Need to have a good sense of humor when you watch me. Absolutely, my friends. So this is the foam strip here, because I wanted to raise that more. And there. Oh, don't get stuck to the glue. <laughs> oh, okay, so now we're going to, oops, come back here. We're going to put that, I don't want it in the center. I That is by purpose. I didn't want that to be in the center. We're going to put that about. You have to go low enough because the jar is kind of tall with the... So now we got that. We got our jar that we loop around that now it's not looped around anymore. We're going to fix that. We're going to use dimensional, okay? Uh, well, not dimensional, the strip because it has to be with that. So let's use the strip. Can I put the strip at the bottom? So just at the top here and then I'm going to put that there and then at the bottom we're going to use glue dots and you're going to understand why I cannot put because my jar would tilt because this is already got the what you may call it uh, the foam strip so not to tilt I get that there we're going to put that right here And another thing that I didn't do on mine that you can do, you can take um, your, not the dark one, a very light one. So that would be, um, let's use, okay, this is the ivory. You can do just a little bit of shadow here, see? Just so you get some shadow. I always love to have a shadow, absolutely. Now we're gonna take our flower again, we just gonna and those one we're gonna use a foam strip also. Here we go. Let's be done with this. And I'm gonna put that just at the top, and that's the bottom right at the top. I'm going to use just another little piece for look. Right here. Okay, the next question is, now we're going to put that right here. And then our little bow that we did with the double loop, we're going to use a glue dot, but that you have to squish squish the glue dot because you know the glue dot is bigger than the knot. Squish. And here we go. Voila. See this? You know what? It's not bad at all. Uh, you're going to say, what the heck is she going to do with that? See, you're just going to touch. And then I take my eraser. If you're wondering, uh, you can get them on Amazon. Um, we used to carry them. We don't carry them anymore. This is called Adhesive Eraser. Um, I got it on my blog, a link for that. It is awesome when you need to uh, fix stuff like, you know, if, maybe you're not the queen of mistake like I am. So for me, I cannot live without this. So that's all. Yeah. And voila. I am just surprised, beyond surprised with this, that I got the front where the front was. I didn't glue it in the back and have this upside down. That Because I didn't even look inside. But here is the faux. Is that cool? I think it really, really look like it's standing, right? So that's this one. Okay, now, last but not least. Okay, next question again. It's name, pick a number between 1 through um, 
nine. And uh, this time it's going to be the one with the right number, the fifth one that answer going to win. And that's the uh, washi washi, okay? The washi washi. Okay, this year I think it's my favorite technique that I'm going to share with you today. Love it. This year it's the crackle terracotta jar. See that? Does it look like crackle? Absolutely. So we're going to do the, the easel first. And this again, it's an easel. See? Boom, boom. So I embossed this. This is the cinnamon cider. Now let's glue this right on the side. Right here. Now, uh, this is my card base. Is it? It's not embossed. This is in the back. Okay. So this here is it. Let me let me measure once. I'm gonna um, uh, Okay. Score at one and a half. So I need to score at one and a half. One and a half, and I pre stamp the inside. Okay, we're gonna take this, put that right here. So just glue the back. The back, you get all the glue. It's the front, we have to pay attention, okay? So we're gonna put that right here. Now, I got all those little circles here with the little halo. And that's going to be the same thing. So this is going to get glued right here. And we're going to glue that right now. Just because uh, the jar won't be uh, whatever uh, dry right away. Put that right here. Now this is going to get flipped this way. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cinnamon cider right away where I want this. So this is going to be very nicely done right there. Now I'm going to use the small little halo here on top of this. We're going to put uh, dimensional, dimensional, dimensional. The sunflower seed is just plain sunflower seed that I feed the birds. You can put any one. The reason why I didn't put human sunflower seed in it, it's because it get the salt on it and it was leaving my jar very uh, chalky. That's the reason why that I didn't use real sunflower seed. You can use real sunflower seed, but if you see my jar still very clear, because uh, you cannot feed a uh, bird salt, so I went and um, steal the seed from the birds. Yeah, I feed them, I figure I can keep some for myself, right? So that's the reason why. So if you use real, um, like sunflower seed, what we call the spits, uh, you're going to have sometimes, it's kind of a white chalk, whatever, inside your jar, and that is the salt from uh, the seeds. Even if you take the one with uh, not much salt, it's still like, I don't know, like a product. See now how this stand up? Okay, now let's have some fun. Now this one here, it's the summer flower that I call it. And we're going to use the small jar. We're not even using the side with the, the lines. I didn't use that one. We're going to take this, put in the bag. We're going to use the cinnamon cider, and I need my aqua painter with water. Okay, let's see where I put this. Okay, I am moving some stuff around because, like I said, right now I cannot function with all this here. So let me see. Well... Let me see, let me see, let me see. I need to find my stuff to make it, right? Okay, where? Oh, here it is. See, I knew I would find it. Okay, so I just want the new aqua painter. 
you have to squeeze a little bit harder to get your glue uh, your water going. I'm using the salmon cider. I'm going to bring the marker also. And we're going to stamp. Oh, make sure I get ink all over. And we're going to stamp right at the bottom. Need to be right at the bottom for this one because of the size of the flower and so on. Now, I took my um, aqua painter with water and rub this all around. You want to have enough water on it. That's going to be the next trick. Take your uh, uh, marker, the writing tip, do your lightning bolt, meaning you do your crackle. It is no right or wrong on how you're going to crack your pot. Trust me, you cannot crack a pot on the same way twice in a row. Okay? And here we go. So now, as it dry though, it's going to get lighter, okay? Your lines going to get very, very lighter as they dry. You can come back, and you know the crack, it's very more uh, pronounced on a jar, usually um, it's quite a bit more. So you can go back and follow, and why I say do it when it's wet, it's because it indent inside of this. I'm sure the, this don't do justice, the picture here. But if you can see, it's in them. If you pass your finger on this, it's in them. So it really, like, it's crackle. Absolutely. Right now it's dark. Don't worry about that. It will get lighter. Now we're going to use the stamp set that I just shoved someplace. Here it is. This one is wash. I can move it around. So we use every flower of this stamp set, okay? All bits and pieces been used. Here it is. Now let's use this one. And again, we're going to stamp that with memento. Take this. Go right at the top. You can touch on top of your uh, jar absolutely a little bit, okay? Because really, those type of jar are you touch. Here we go. I could have went lower. So, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to share with you how to correct that, okay? So, let me make all the mistakes for you and let me share with you how to correct that. I'm going to use my marker here. And I'm going to go a little bit on top here. So it don't look like my flower just floating on top of my... Uh, on my uh, crackle pot. Here we go. So that way, if you didn't win low enough, just take your marker, you already got it out for your crackle and you got it. Now for the flowers, again, it's all, um, I did the yellow for my uh, center, um, did, uh, I don't even know where my finish card is, oh here it is. I did the very simple, see I just used a bit of yellow here and did very little work to this, very, very little. Uh, I'm gonna use the light daffodil here, uh, not daffodil, but um, Blackberry Bliss and add my flower here. Uh, this year, it, for me, it looked like eucalyptus. Uh, so I did the green, so we got eucalyptus in the green, we get some in the, the purplish. So whatever color that you feel that turn your fancy on, 
put it in those color. For me, those one really look like the um, eucalyptus. And eucalyptus are very dark. When I live in, oh, that marker is shot. When I live in Florida, we had a eucalyptus tree in the front. During Hurricane Danny, it um, broke the tree or whatever, split the tree right in half. It was the weirdest thing. And uh, half of the tree survived. It looked like, it, it was so weird. We went down to Pensacola to see our old place maybe two years ago when we were here, living in Texas. We went back there to see our old place. Well, the half tree still stand up and it still looked like a half tree. So that's what Hurricane Danny left is more there. It was just wicked. So, um, yeah, eucalyptus tree are very pretty. Here we go. So now I would, uh, you know, do a little bit more shading and so on, but you, I'm not here to give you a class on uh, blending. And to be honest, when it comes to color, I'm very, very simple. Uh, that comes to color, very simple. And I keep it plain, very plain. So now, oh, it's hard for me to start coloring something and not finish it. It's just running me nuts. But we got another card that we have to finish, right? So this is the dark, and I would just add a bit of the dark, just like the other one, and then come and glue, uh, finish the rest. So now you get the jig of it at least. Very simple coloring. And then you would attach this piece to this. See? Boom. And then you get this finish. But now it's dry enough you can see the crackle. Is that cool? Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Yeah, wisteria can uh, kill the trees if you don't um, keep uh, them. We got a lot of it around here. Some people call it mountain something, but you have to keep it trimmed. Now, let's finish our first card of all. Here it is. See, now it's all done. That is the same thing. I just did a little bow with this. I'm going to finish coloring those uh, color after here. So what was your favorite color? Do we have another winner, Ollie? Because I think so. And then I'm going to tell you about the next class. I don't think you want to miss. One sheet, one year, all different fold. Um, and then... Um, let me, hmm, a little bit smaller. What was your favorite, maybe, not really card, but technique or the favorite thing if you learned something other than that you had a blast watching all my mistakes? I think that was hilarious. I mean, yeah, this class was designed a long time ago. But still, see, boom, boom. So that was one. Well, I should show you with the finished colors. Two. Uh, this is the C, this, and then this, and then this. How about that? We did a good six one, all different pool or easel and so on. Now let me share quick, and it's going to be quick, okay? That's going to be October 16, I think. Yes, I'm talking October now. Yeah, a Friday night class, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. This is one sheet wonder, absolutely no ways, doing six card only with a one sheet wonder, but all different fold. So here's one. I'm going to share it quick. All will be on, uh, that's going to be a live class. I just want to share how cool this one sheet wonder is going to be with the next class and no waste at all.
It's quick. Here we go. Now you got it. Save the day. Friday night. Yes, it's a Friday night, October 16th. 7, uh, 7 p.m. my time, sorry, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Okay, now let me tell you a little secret here. Okay, one second. Okay, so, did you know, okay, let's see who's the next winner. Root Manor. Please email me, um, go at frenchystamps.com and um, give me your uh, mailing address. Okay, so here is how I pick the number. Contact Ollie this morning and I said, you know, because it's long for to enter all the name. I said, we're going to process that differently now. So let me close this here. Here we go. So what I done, this number here, it's one four at uh, one five four zero six four. Do you know what number that is? That is the bundle of what I've been using today. So that is the jar of flower bundle. I pick the third number, so it was the third one that won. So the 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 third person that say number four one, and then the fifth person that say the fifth number that was number six. So the fifth person that say number six one. That's how I done. So I think that's something like that. Like during live, I ask how many bundle and how many this and that. So I'm gonna come up with different thing like that. So that way, all they don't have to all put those things. Well, I cannot believe I've been here for two hours. Well, what can I say? I thought it's going to be way quicker because I was well prepared. Well, with all the mistakes that I made, we stay longer, put it that way. So all the measurements, all supplies are listed in the PDF. Here is with an order of $35, BMD, V44, and R. And that is it, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining in. Now I'm going to go finish the coloring. But um, I think we did a very nice uh, collection of cards. So I hope, my hope is that you enjoy yourself and you learn something new. Till next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye for now.